Ivor Mahasa Khorda. Hi everyone and welcome to the Dingle Peninsula. Kirkagina, Nigdina, Agus Nagaiha. We're standing here in Castle Nagroige, probably one of the most beautiful views in the world. Behind us is Count Shabale and Troy Chlohar. And uh, it's wonderful to share this place with you because we miss you all. Uh, my name is Marlon Nicaoli. This is my husband, Billy Madlin. And we're really happy to be part of the St. Patrick's Day Festival. It's wonderful to be here and we're going to share with you some musical traditions and stories from the area. Um, we're going to begin with Pertnabuki, which is uh, translated as the song of the spirits or the song of the fairies and it has a, a strange backstory to it. So I learned this song from my father and I originally learned it as a slow air and the story goes that uh, a family from Inishvikilon, one of the Blasket Islands which are just around the corner here, and um, the old Daleks. One of the family was out fishing one night and he heard this music coming to him on the wind. And when he reached dry land, he took his fiddle down off the mantelpiece and he played and played what he had heard out on the ocean until he was able to uh, recreate that magical tune and he called it Partnabuki. And some people say that what he heard was the sound of whales reverberating against the bottom of the canvas boat, or maybe seal song. But um, the man that gave my father the words of this song said that you had to believe in the story or you couldn't sing it, so we believe. And Bill is going to play a really unusual instrument along with this. Yeah, the words of the story are, they, they talk about a woman who's been abducted into the other world. She's been taken away by the fairies and she's giving a warning to her mortal family not to follow her. So it has a very strange supernatural kind of feel to it. And we thought that it might be uh, interesting to use a new instrument, which uh, I've made a, my own version of. It, it's called a Yebahar, and it was originally made by a Turkish man called Gorkem Shen. And uh, I got in touch with him and I asked him, could I make one? So it has a very strange supernatural quality to it. It's an acoustic instrument, but it sounds otherworldly. It sounds ethereal. It sounds, some, some say it sounds like the sound of whales itself, so we think that the words, the music, the tune, the landscape and the instrument all go together very well, so we hope you enjoy it. Billy spent an awful lot of time in the shed making unusual instruments, more so than usual during the pandemic and we're, we're very grateful that we each have our separate interests, but it's really special to perform and sing this song in the landscape, where it came from and yeah, we hope you enjoy this performance. Oh 
That was part of the Bukri Hasul Gumkarhan Shishin Liv. Certainly a pleasure to sing for you. Um, this next song is totally different. It's kind of an anthem, it's sung all over the country, and we actually performed it a year ago, God, when all this started. And um, our kids joined in, and the neighbours joined in, and uh, it seemed to, to lift the spirits and maybe create a little bit of hope in people. It's called Oro Shah the Vahavala, and uh, it's about the pirate queen, Grand of Oil. Yeah. Um, a lot of the old medieval poetry and poetry after the medieval period was the Ashling poetry, these vision poetry about uh, Ireland personified as a woman and she's calling out for someone to come and save her. But in this version, this much more rousing version of a, a call to arms, it's Grania Whale is uh, being told to return uh, as a kind of a, a saviour and a conquering hero. So I suppose in this day and age, it's, uh, it's, it's good to have a song like this, which is calling us to pull together in the same direction and to, to fight for what's important. And I think it's a, a useful anthem, a helpful thing to think about as we go into the summer and as we think about conquering this thing once and for all. This song was composed by Padraig Mac Pirish, one of the heroes of 1916. And uh, Billy's going to play another unusual instrument on this number. <laughs> yeah, the, the instrument I'm playing here, it's a trumpet made of bronze, a copy of uh, one that was found in a lake near the great ritual site of Navenfort. Um, it was in a uh, Loch Nishez, the Lake of Treasures. And we think it is definitely one of the great treasures of Irish archaeology. So the original is too full of holes to play so uh, a good way of finding out how these ancient instruments used to sound would, is to make replicas and play them. So that's what I've done here. And it certainly has a good, driving, strong sound. It's really interesting to be playing with these instruments as well, especially when Billy recreates the ancient instruments and you get a sense of the kind of music that might have been played and sung in Ireland long ago and great to be doing it again now. Um, so a huge thanks to the St. Patrick's Day Festival for having us. Um, a huge thanks to our cameraman, Sean Mukherjee. He got, uh, we had a couple of failed attempts with hurricanes, but we, we got a beautiful day today and a wonderful day to show off this place in, in all its glory. I hope everyone's doing okay out there and um, we really look forward to seeing you soon. But for now, Fog Mitchell, or Oshéda Vahavale. Slot.
Oh 